The 15th annual RoboSub competition recently got underway. Well, underwater at Space and Naval Warfare System Center Pacific in San Diego. So this uh, is the external frame. You can kind of see in here. We also, you can see the electronics. There's an end cap that goes on here. Um, Everyone from the junior engineer to those more senior. I really, yeah, I don't like being associated with the dark side, but. Are competing in this international competition. The mayor of San Diego, Jerry Sanders, dropped by. It is so much fun to watch this competition and to see it become international. And I just wanted to welcome all of you to San Diego. And I wanted to uh, wish all of you the best of luck. And I hope that, uh, well, I know the best team will win the Mayor's Cup on Sunday. So good luck to all of you. And while some struggled. So right now, if you're just fixing uh, one of the boards, it's the one of the control boxes, because somebody had solder joints too close. Some had success. And though there are many reasons for competing, for the Navy... And these underwater vehicles are actually already in use in the fleet. This is a normal practice, and what this is is just further development for better vehicles that's being done by these universities. But we already use these vehicles for underwater searches. These are used in the civilian world quite often on oil platforms. Anything that may require going down deeper, so to say, than we can go without saturation diving, and as well as going shallow, just doing hull inspections on different vessels or different uh, operating fields. From Space and Naval Warfare System Center Pacific in San Diego, I'm Ashley Nakui.